Okay. So Tribeca, uh, this is Tribeca just as a reminder. It started with the idea that I could come up with a lot of different ways to move for a little rhythmic snippet, which was it might have even been I think that's all it was. I took da do go da gon and I thought, what are all the different ways I could move while doing that? And I think after 45 minutes of experimenting, I had seven or eight. I then took those and I started to play with those different ways. So there was, for example, I just did right, left, right, right, left, for example. And then another one I did. Another one I did, or something. You know, I just came up with a whole bunch of them, and then I and I tried not to worry about whether or not they were cool or not. I was just brainstorming until I had a bunch. Then I kind of cut out. There were a couple like I don't like ending with both hands at the same time. It never feels right to me, so I cut that one. And some of them I couldn't find any. They didn't seem like they would fit very well because I ended in this position, but none of them started in this position. So how could I, you know, how could I combine that? I don't know. Anyway, three stuck out as fitting together. They just kind of worked. And they were. This next one started. So that made sense because this leads so nicely into this. And the last one was. Right? So I just took chi, do, go, da option one, and I realized I can just keep going into option, it was like six. Da, do, da, da, do, and then this was option three or something. Da, do, da, da, do, and then I add the old city ending. They just fit together. And then when I played that all together, and they were all distinct, with all these different arm movements happening, I thought, that's the way you do choreography. You just come up with a snippet. And then you come up with a whole bunch of different moves, and you combine it all together, you find the ones that work, and you've got it. Well, I did it again, and it didn't really work. I mean, it didn't not work. I, I started with some other rhythm, like, or something, you know? And so I came up with six or seven different ways to do that, and I put it together. It was kind of the same thing as Tribeca, and it wasn't as good. Like, it didn't work. I was so excited, I thought, I've solved the problem of taiko choreography. I've got it. The process <laughs> is A, B, C, but it really only produced Tribeca that I read. Now, I could keep doing it, and there might be something even better than Tribeca lurking if I kept doing it. But it only got me that far. I think any one concept will get you something really great if you just keep pushing at it. You keep trying it from different angles. You will come up with something. But that's never the whole ball of wax. The next one was Cronkite. And Cronkite was the exact opposite. Instead of starting with rhythm, Cronkite happened after I saw a performance by um, someone who did GRV. It was a dance group. And I think it, I can't find very much about them online, but they won the World of Dance competition okay. the year I saw it. They were so fantastic. <laughs> they were so beautiful. Hip hop dance, choreography, huge troupe of people dancing. And one of the things that I thought when I saw it is the way that this, like bringing of the arms together, is so badass. Even though I don't know, I don't know what this means. Like I don't know if it's like, I don't like you, or like I don't care, or I don't even, I don't know what it is. It's just awesome looking. So when like twenty people go, oh, like something about it looked so compelling. You know, it looked so cool. Mm -hmm. I thought, what if I just took that? So I had this idea of a movement that just. It's just kind of badass, right? And that could be like this, like, I'm done with this. And we come up with some move that has, it could be anything. I started with this movement idea. And I figured out at the Tycho, we're hearing about my relevance spectrum, that was that. That's the best I can do to mimic, you know, this hip hop yeah. thing. Was Gadon hitting with the left hand here, and then hitting the Tycho. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I did, where this left hand comes in, and I just goofed around. I mean, I didn't have that right from the beginning, but I just goofed around with this motion. And still, I liked this thing. I probably did this 
going on the way back because this felt silly. What do I do with this hand? Oh my god, what am I doing over there? Oh, I hit the drum. Oh, now I know what to do. Okay, thank you. Now I got this going on. And then I came up with a variation where it just goes faster. And then you guys, my left hand is doing this horizontal motion. My right hand is doing the horizontal motion. And then, you know, that led into all of this stuff. And now I'm like, I gotta just jump out of a crazy and end it with something big. Yeah? So that all started with movement. And to be honest, I thought, okay, starting with rhythm didn't work. But that totally worked because this is badass. So I went back and I watched GRB videos and I found other things that were like badass and I could not translate them into taiko. It like didn't, it didn't work. So again, that idea only worked for me once. Now there's more there. I think I could find more. Especially now, I'm actually going back and doing more of that. None of these is right. And all of them are right. At least once, if not three or four times, yeah? You just got to come up with some procedure for choreography that you think might work, and then just keep pushing it. And you'll definitely get one thing out of that. You might not get a whole piece, but you'll get one good idea out of it. And that produced Tribeca through rhythm first, and Cronkite through movement first. Amazing. Thank you.